this country, unfortunately, there are still about 25 million individuals with disabilities on entitlements, and it's costing society a lot, a lot of resources to keep them on entitlements as opposed to them getting into the workforce. And unfortunately, even in 2017, the unemployment rate amongst those individuals is still above 70%. So we are all supporting them to keep them out of work. And that's probably not a good public policy. I recently got a job near, near home. It was for a nursery school that I went to. I work with the three-year-olds and four-year-olds as a teacher's assistant. So I am working with the teacher I had. I thought it would be a good idea to work as a teacher's assistant with young kids. I find employers who are going to match the skills of our people. So my job is to go out and find employers that will be interested in working with folks with disabilities or challenges to employment and find a match that's going to work for both sides. I was just asked to come back in the fall and still work as a teacher's assistant there. We live in Brockton, part of the shared living program provided by here in, at Work Inc. The concept came and I had that spare room, so it's there. When I was young, I didn't know where I, where I lived, but and now I know. I would say I'm technically inclined. I enjoy working on uh, complex machinery. I come from the business side of the world, um, not necessarily human services background. My background is in business. And uh, to me, it was about making it work and really making sure that it worked for businesses and looking at it from their perspective. Why, why should an employer hire someone with a disability to come to work for them? Um, personally, I believe they should give a chance because just because they might have a disability doesn't mean they wouldn't be good at the job you're asking them to do. Okay. What's the photo shoot happening in here? Give you a little tour. My first tattoo was um, this one that I'm showing you right here. It's a handicap sign that says pride. Even though I have some things that I don't like about my disability, there's a couple of things that I can do with having a disability. I can still be independent. <laughs> Obviously, I can still get tattoos. It kind of made me feel like I have to give pride to my disability. Personally, I wasn't good at English or math, but given the chance to work and look at and given the right setting, I've been able to learn a lot about the units, certain aspects of HVAC. No time for TV cameras on this factory floor in Dorchester. Bob Bishop and his employees at Work Inc., they've got orders to fill. Everyone here, careful, deliberate, and proud to produce. Made in America, made in Massachusetts. Are you ready for this? Disabilities. Deaf, blind, intellectually challenged, everyone here has something to contribute. Is, I see the list of uh, partners yes. behind you. We are taking what we know about the individual and then thinking about um, what kinds of employers might be a good match for the things that we've learned about this person. Here at Work Inc., we have people who are deaf and who um, can sign, so I do like the fact that I can communicate with other people. I don't feel that I am completely alone. They do such a fantastic job.